Hi everyone, uh, I'm Chris Harris and welcome to another Tech Central video. Uh, today we're going to have a little bit of fun. It's going to be a little bit uh, different to our previous videos. And but what we have is we've got a bunch of, uh, of, of products that we pulled out of the bins in the store and they maybe products you haven't seen yourself, you know, and going to the, the website. Um, they are all, we think, very good in their own right. And it should be fun. And maybe, you know, if there's a better half out there that is keen to find you a gift for the season, then you could always pass the video on, you know, a little bit of a hint and maybe they'll maybe they'll uh, select something for you. So yeah, I think this is gonna be fun and uh, if it works out nicely, maybe we'll, uh, you know, we'll showcase more of our products this way. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, the, the first product I'm going to show you here, I think it's uh, just a fantastic um, addition to our lineup. Uh, it's the Royal Case and Dye Lube from Sharpshooter. Now, Sharpshooter make a lot of great products, cleaning products for guns, wipeout, patch out. Um, this one, I think, is just particularly good. Um, it is, you know, if you've used Imperial Dye Wax to, for, your, for your case sizing, then uh, this is a similar product smells fantastic and I think it actually even says you can eat it. I wouldn't do that but um, uh, it's a safe product. I, I like it because it does a fantastic job on uh, sizing cases. I never forget I had a problem once where with my brass I had uh, brittle necks and I'd overcut them and they were breaking. I was using Imperial Dye Wax. I borrowed some of this Royal Case and Dye Lube and the problem went away completely. So not a good thing to be in that situation. That was my mistake. But uh, this stuff just really works uh, great and it's nice and easy to clean up. So if you haven't tried it, I certainly would uh, would look at that and um, uh, maybe add it to your reloading box. So next up, yeah, this is nice. We've done a little video on this before, so I'm sure you could go and get a bit more detail on it. But this is our adjustable uh, infinitely adjustable trigger hanger for timing your trigger on a, uh, a panda, on a Kelby panda action. It comes with a little, um, little tube of Loctite and the screws uh, for the action. This has been really uh, well received by a lot of people using pandas. Uh, with this you can actually slide the hanger up and down and it allows you to set the trigger perfectly in your action so you don't, you can remove a lot of that cocking on closing um, and, uh, and, and, and keep your rifle more steady in the back. So, you know, if you've got a panda, uh, great action, and you're looking to, you know, get rid of some of the cocking on closing, this is just a great little gift and uh, you can, you'll find them on our, on our website. Um, yeah, here's something that's also pretty neat. Now, these we, 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 we just, I just love these things. Uh, we gave away a whole bunch of them at the recent Nationals down in Phoenix. And what, what they are, are lighted loops. So they've got a pure glass lens uh, in them. And there's two versions of it. The one is a little, um, comes with, um, it doesn't come, sorry, it doesn't come with batteries, but it's the regular alkaline battery powered unit. And then the slightly more pricey one with the rechargeable system. Why I love these and use them all day long, doesn't matter if in my workshop or if I'm reloading, is you know, so often I'm looking for some detail, just you know, a tiny little landmark on my bullet, or maybe a machine mark in the in the workshop. And you know, you pick them up, they've got this lighted section here. Uh, you can get it nice and close and uh, you get a you know an instant magnification magnified view of uh, of what you're looking at um, I can't do that I think I've got about I've got them littered around my workshop and a couple in my reloading boxes as well here's another uh, nice little tool uh, this is a very high end very accurate trigger gauge and uh, we got into these because when we started selling the X90 triggers that have a uh, consistency of, you know, 
the trigger force of one gram and now all of a sudden you can take your trigger force down to as low as sometimes 10 grams, a, a third of an ounce, there really is nothing out there to measure your trigger force. Uh, we've had people sometimes call in here with, and say, oh, Chris, you know, my, my Bix and Andy trigger is really not working well. I've got a one ounce variation. And I say, oh, really? You know, because literally like, you know, Bix and Andy is accurate to <clears throat> three one hundredths of an ounce. And I, I say, well, what do you use it? And it's one of these, I'm not gonna mention the name, but an electronic uh, trigger pull gauge. And I know for a fact, because I've got one myself in my workshop, and they are really useless. Um, and since we've moved to these Carex gauges, they are just, you know, far nicer, far more reliable. They are more expensive, so that better off if they're gonna buy you one of these. You know, they're gonna have to uh, love them. You know, they're gonna have to love you a little bit more for this one. But I can show you quickly how it works here. Um, there's a little red needle on the on the gauge, and as you move this up against your trigger, the needle will advance to the point where the trigger breaks, and then you're you know removed from the trigger, and you can get your reading. And you can reset it. You can do that again. Um, uh, just. Just a great little instrument, built like a clock, Swiss clock on the inside. They're made in Switzerland. So, yeah. And we get them in, uh, this is actually the 100 gram one, so it's about three ounces. We also have them two kilograms, uh, so that's um, four, almost four and a half pounds. And then we have one that's zero to one ounce, so 30 grams. So they come in uh, various sizes. All right, here's something else that um, really cool product. I end um, something pretty simple grease. Okay, well, you think grease is grease, but uh, this grease is actually TW25, was designed to work in very high end military Gatling guns, uh, aircraft that are flying, you know up at uh, 40,000 feet where the temperature really gets down or in the desert in tanks where, where stuff gets you know extremely hot. In fact, the temperature range on this is minus 90 F, uh, minus 67 Celsius to 450 Fahrenheit or 230 Celsius. Uh, you may have seen little packets of this shipped out from Bat Machine with their actions and there's a reason why they do it and that's because the stuff is so good. They actually use it on their machine tools in the workshop because it helps them uh, maintain uh, accuracy throughout the day as temperatures are changing. It's just a fabulous product. I use it for the lugs on my rifle because it just sticks there and stays there. It's a, it's a very thin grease, but um, it really does a great job of, of staying on the lugs and you know wherever else uh, lubrication is needed. So if you haven't tried this out, I, I strongly advocate uh, TW25. It comes in a different couple of different forms. This is a tube. Um, you get a little syringe as well that uh, I think is half an ounce. And you know, you can just, you know, it's very nice for just applying to your legs quickly. It doesn't leak, uh, which is nice. Um, and then you've got tubes, and then there's a big tube, you know, maybe for, for the workshop as well. Let's do this little one. Uh, this comes from a good friend of mine, uh, Steve Thigh. Steve Thigh has got a, a great website. If you haven't been to it, uh, benchfront.com. He's a great bench rest shooter. He's been around, people love him. And he comes up with a lot of neat products. And this is a very simple one. Um, it's just a, it's an oil. Uh, and you know, when sometimes when you, you know, at the line and you, you, your bolt is just a little bit grabby in, in the action. Maybe there's some dust in it, uh, dust accumulated, it's dried out. All you do is you just literally put a little dot of this, you know, on your finger and then wipe it all over the bulb. Um, and that is really enough. Just one dot is enough to free that bolt up and to let it glide um, in the action. You really want that bolt to be smooth when you're running your shots pretty quickly. So, yeah, simple little thing. Um, that you can uh, get on our website as well and certainly on uh, Steve's website. So. Um, something that I use all the time. Um, here's another another neat product. Another friend of mine, 
from Stan Bucktool. Stan Bucktool is, uh, he's been around adventurous for ages. He's been uh, president of the NBRSA. Uh, he's, he's, he's just, he's a fixture in the, shoot, the shooting world of adventurous. So uh, I want to give uh, Stan a plug. He is not only a really smart guy, good bench shooter, fun guy to be around and have dinner with, but he is a fantastic woodworker. And he uh, made these beautiful wooden handles for the, the hood press. So if you haven't seen hood press, we've got them on our website. You can go look at them. Great uh, addition to your, your reloading setup because you can do your, your, your sizing, and your seating on the same press. It lies nice and flat, goes in your work workbox, and it comes with a with a metal handle like this with a with a dipped plastic coating. It works fine, but it's just so much nicer to use uh, one of these. And here you can see this wood here is uh, I don't know what this is. It's uh, it's just a beautiful bow to it. This could be ambrosia, or, but we have a bunch of these on our website. They. 140 odd to 180 odd dollars. Again, the, the better half's going to have to love you a little bit more during the season to get one of these. But they are unique and and really nice to really nice to have. Ah. Now I'm sure that a lot of you out there have, um, have you know possibly seen this book or own it. If, you know, if you do, then you know, great. Uh, this, in my mind, book, uh, the Book of Rifle Accuracy, uh, written by Tony Boyer, is without doubt the, the finest book on, on accuracy uh, around. And Tony doesn't need any, any introduction, uh, but in this book, he goes through everything. You know, rifle preparation, shooting technique, reloading, reading wind flags. Um, whether you are a hunter, um, a target shooter, long range, or short range bench rest as, you know, what Tony does, um, this book will definitely help you out. I mean, the reloading section, how to tune, tune your rifle properly is just fantastic. As I say, I don't care if you're shooting elk or shooting, you know, zero, you know, uh, tenth of an inch groups through paper, that is going to, um, that's going to be a great addition. Now here's something a little different. I mean, typically we are into bolt action rifles, uh, bulletcentral.com. But um, what we, we we took a stock of these uh, some time ago, and uh, we got a bunch of them. And this is the the James Madison Tactical 80% um, AR15. Or we got them in AR10, the 308. Uh, lower and they're just really cool. So if you're in your winter time, if you want to decide you want to go get yourself, make yourself uh, your own AR-15, what's nice about this, it comes with a, um, maybe I can't take the whole thing apart, but oh, I can, yeah. This comes with a plastic um, fixture for to, to, to put in your your drill press or your mower and what you can do in fact with something as simple as a drill press uh, preferably a, um, a a milling machine you can mow out the trigger pocket here uh, and drill the holes on the side here you can see on the on the jig um, you've got the, the holes okay to secure your trigger cross pins and there's the jig here to be able to mill out um, your your trigger pocket and then you have your own um, AR-15 it is you know non-serialized it's perfectly legal uh, beautiful work I mean the stuff the polycarbonate uh, um, product is you know it's really strong and that's actually the reason why we put them on the website because we just thought this is another great uh, product to um, you know, so people could just, you know, buy it and have some fun. So it's pretty neat. I've done a couple of them and uh, they really are fun and they work great too. You know? um, yeah, here's another item from our friend uh, Steve Fye and Benchright. Nothing new, rod cases. Uh, rod cases really are important. So uh, for those of you who are cleaning at the range, and you should be, uh, you do not want to be dragging too much um, uh, you know, 
sand and grit and everything down your barrels and yeah obviously you know you clean your your rods off first before you put them down the barrel but this just gives them some extra protection um, and they don't rattle so when you drive them off the chute you know you've got those rods sitting back tick 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 well you know this is nice I mean they encapsulated in these uh, steel tubes with beautiful dowel fixtures to keep them together you have a single rod case, we have the two rod, and we've got the, the three rod. Um, what's also really nice about this beautifully machined are these little uh, collets at the top. So if you're gonna, you've got your Dewey rod, or there's a couple of manufacturers that, um, that, uh, this, that this case is compatible with, you just give it a little twist and that rod is not coming out. Um, so that is just a really neat way to um, head to the range and keep your rods in, in one place and keep them clean. Well, that's it. You know, I think this was uh, fun. Um, I maybe you know, if you guys like it, and you put some comments below, we could uh, do it again, and we can do it with some you know, a bunch of other products as well. Um, I want to uh, make a special thank you to you guys, our customers out there, and followers. Uh, 2016 has just been a great year for us. We've uh, loved dealing with you. Uh, we're always looking after customers, making sure you guys are utilizing our products, you know, the way they should be used. If there's any issues with them, please feel free to call us. We absolutely want 100% customer satisfaction. So call the number on the screen here, uh, go to our website. Uh, we've got some other videos that you can probably be referred to and, uh, and get some more information. I hope you have a great season coming up, uh, uh, Christmas season and New Year's. And most important, next year, I think we're going to have a knockout uh, shooting season again. Um, looking forward to seeing you on the range. So have a great season and we'll see you next year. Thank you again.